This episode is brought to you by Kia's first three-row all-electric SUV. The Kia EV9. With available all-wheel drive and seating for up to seven adults. With a zero to 60 speed that thrills you one minute. And available reclining lounge seats that unwind you the next. Visit kia.com slash EV9 to learn more. Ask your Kia dealer for availability. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely. Hey, everybody. This is Joel with Brutally Delicious. I'm here to chat a bit about frostbite orkings. And in case you're one of the lucky folks who doesn't know already frostbite orkings latest, uh, the Orkish Eclipse is shamelessly advertised as the world's first AI-generated heavy metal album. Now, we've all got opinions about AI-generated art. Some of us are violently opposed to it, uh, while others embrace it entirely, seemingly unaware of the damage it can cause. And frostbite orkings are virtual members of the latter, which is extremely bothersome. I'll get to that in a minute. The band, and you have to use that term lightly, band, is an entirely artificial creation started in 2021 by Stephen Schmidt, the vocalist for a, an a cappella power metal band called Fan Canto, which is a fucking nightmare. It's, you ask me, but real people singing on that. Um, if you, you you can read more about what Stephen claims on Metal Archives or the uh, Metalverse website, Frostbite Orkings is part of. If you're interested, but long story short, the Orkish Eclipse is supposedly made up of a bunch of pre-recorded clips of stuff uh, contributing musicians use to help create this AI. Algorithm. I don't. I don't know if that's the best word. Create. I don't know, teach, construct, whatever. The end result is a bad impersonation of a Monomarth or Dark Tranquility or Winter Sun or Arch Enemy. Even and there's no shortage of fantastic melodic death metal on this planet. Some is downright brilliant. At the gates, Belacor, Insomnium. You can go down a rabbit hole real quick, and all of it is miles better than Frostbite Orkings, musically. And that's not even considering the accompanying visual art. In Frostbite Orkings' case, every virtual brushstroke is AI-generated, and that, that just tops the cake. The whole thing makes me feel gross, and I hate every second of it. Which begs the question, why am I wasting precious moments of our lives drawing attention to this album? Well, because it's part of a larger discussion about creativity and artistic integrity, collaboration and community. You won't find any of that here, or any other AI-generated anything. It is soulless. AI cannot recreate acceptable artwork in any form. It can only mimic how it perceives the art of others, leaving it looking and sounding like processed Walmart cheese. Little plastic wrapped squares of orange nothingness and nobody wants that nobody on a sandwich or in their heavy metal the trouble is the more of it we allow into our lives without question leaves less room on the shelf for art that deserves to be there now with that in mind here are a few uh 2023 releases on the mellow death spectrum that are worth every second of your time Mariana's Rest. They are a spectacular melodic doom band from Finland. The album is called Our, A-U-E-R. It's out on Napalm Records. It's their fourth album, just as great as their predecessors. It's dark. It's a dark, dark record, but the band has a, a way of bringing in some light at, at just the right moments. Great album. Um, another is Four Token, Triumphs. Uh, it's out on Prosthetic Records. This is ruthless, blackened, symphonic death metal. Great guitar work. A lot of organic elements, sort of folky in places. It's fantastic uh, album from start to finish. And another is Orbit Culture, Descent. This is one of my favorite albums of the year out on Seek and Strike. It's a relatively new label. Orbit Culture has been getting quite a lot of well-deserved attention lately and I, and I hope that continues for a long long time so yeah yeah those those three will do you more good than anything ai can manufacture so check them out and everybody have a great great new year take care of each other 
Hey, this is Mike Wiebe, and I'm the singer in a band called The Riverboat Gamblers. And I'm Zach Blair. I play guitar in a band called Rise Against. Mike and I also have a band called The Draculas, and we also have this great, amazing new podcast called Zach and Mike Make Three. Yeah, each week we're going to ask ourselves and we're going to ask our guests what three favorite things they are into at that moment or in their entire lives. And then we're either going to agree with them or we're going to make fun of them. And uh, you're going to listen to it and you're going to like it or we will make fun of you. How about that? I just flipped it on you, the person listening to this right now. But we're going to do it every week here on the Sound Talent Network. Once again, it's called Zach and Mike Make Three. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah.